want to go outside? You want to go outside? Come on. Okay. Go. What you do, Layla? I want to look at you and your cuteness. Aww. So once your bed goes this way, Courtney, yes. you won't be feeling like you're running downhill. Yeah. You'll be fine. But what we got to do is... I mean, you could start sleeping this way now, but we gotta take a piece of foam. We should take one of those pieces of foam and put it in here. Well, I was figuring if you make the bed go that way, the piece that goes across right there might fit, maybe. I don't know. Well, I, what if I don't change the bed at all? I just put the hatch there, and I just put a, a, a rail here. And then you'll sleep like this, and I'll sleep like that. Oh wow! My finger was in the way. I keep putting my finger in your screen. All right, I'm gonna take Layla. I gotta go get Layla Flea and Heartworm. Poor Pete. I suck. You need a little bit of a break, don't you, though? I don't deserve a break. Yes, you do. I do not. Yes, you do. You'd be good for the soul. I'm the one that bought a wooden boat. <laughs> <laughs> you can come now, real quick, with me. Thank you, Earl. I can't. I gotta get. I got tours laying out. All kinds of shit. I'd like to. <clears throat> well, I guess Did I'll be. Did you film your shirt today? Yeah. And hey, look what she's got. <laughs> you got little ears sticking out of here. I we noticed gotta, that. We gotta pull that in. I got ears. You wanna go to the beach? Beach? You like the beach? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the beach. Whoa. Got that chore done. Lila's got her flea and heartworm. So now we're gonna go to the beach. I don't like that. Let her run around for a minute. Aw, it says I love you. Ah, the ocean. Huh. <sighs> going to film the water for a little while and walk Layla for a minute.
cover this up. What are you sniffing? Sniffing? Sniffing for crabs? Sniffing for crabs? Hey! Layla! Where are you going? and make some galumpkies. Okay, let that cook for a minute. And once that comes up to steam and goes for a little while, I'll pull it off of the stove top and then start browning some beef. While I waited for the rice and the cabbage to cook, I started cutting up some onions and garlic, getting that all ready in the pan. And I'm gonna saute that up with a little oil, a little salt, and then, uh, and then throw some ground beef in there, cook up the beef, and then throw in the tomato sauce. Salt. I had to put in this because salt always clumps up. So this is like a little watertight Tupperware. up some cheese and then I put the cheese in the sauce and let that just melt in the sauce and then we'll serve it all up it'll be really good the cheese all ready to go. And then I'll show you when I serve it up too. But yeah, I mean when you cook on a boat, that meal right there would take like five pans. One pan for the rice. But this way you just kind of layer it yourself on your plate. And I only use two pans. And voila! So the rice and the cabbage are on the bottom, and then the beef and the spaghetti and the cheese are on top. Sprinkle cheese, and voila! We're gonna chill out the rest of the night, take some showers, and uh, do what we always do, have some dessert and tea, and, and uh, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, I'm uh, sanding today. Fun, fun. Basically, show you what I'm doing. Is this hose pipe? The screws wouldn't hold, so I epoxied it in with plastic behind it. Now the plastic has uh, been taken out of there, and that's what was left. So I gotta mow that down and uh, get it flat and get this little chunks out and then I can caulk that back in but now the screws will grab they were, weren't grabbing in the 
in there and this was all kind of chewed away so now it's going to be good for a while. I think I'll take this windlass off too at some point. Do a little work up here. Try to concentrate on this. These bad spots here I might cut out there too. Alright, so that's what I'm going to try to concentrate. I've got a lot to do right in this one little area so let's see what we can do. Alright, what I'm doing is cutting a line here with a circular saw right above that little bit of rot. And we're going to they say marry in <laughs> a new piece, kind of like I did back there. This one's going to be not quite as wide. I'm going to lay this camera here and see if you can see I'm doing this. Bad the whole way along there. I just go as far as I can up there. I'll go maybe almost that light and we'll be good. To get that sail out of the way and stuff. All right, now we got that chopped out of there so we can glue a new piece right in here. And I'm using this tool to cut the, I use a circular saw, I think I showed you that. Now I come back with this tool just to cut that little bit off flush. And then we'll epoxy, I went a little deep with the saw there, but I can fill that with epoxy and with graphite in it. And then glue a new piece, I'll be flush and go re do it just like I did here. Oh, right. I found a little bit of rot right in here. I'm going to have to cut that out. I cut out some of it. I may have to take that rub rail off and to get to that. <clears throat> That's all ready. And this part, I got that notched out pretty good. I'll have to cut the piece and glue it in here next. I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. I sanded these cap rails down a little bit on both sides. It's going to rain pretty good the next few days, so we're just going to let this be washed off real good, and then we'll put some finish on it. I may get some finish on it today. If not, oh well. Can't always, can't always beat the rain. But one thing I want to do is our bed is getting dripped on pretty bad right here. It's Courtney right now. <laughs> Courtney's got her camera and I got mine too. 